everyone. I hope everybody is well today. Um, today I am going to do something that I have wanted to do for a long time. And I am going to review my favorite moisturizers for you. Um, I, let's see, I think I'm just going to jump right in because that pretty much sums it up. Um, first off, let me start off with one that I'm not so keen on. Uh, mm -hmm. This is Boots Nectarine. I got mine at Target. I'm, I, th I don't think you can get them anywhere else. I could be wrong. Of course, I think you can get them online. Um, I have used a ton of it, as you can see. Um, and I've had this about two months. Something like, yeah, about, probably about two months. It smells fantastic. It really does. Uh, I, however, will not be per repurchasing this because... It just didn't do a whole lot. It's supposed to be a body butter, and to me, I don't know. It just, it's not, it didn't do what it was supposed to. It just didn't leave my skin feeling as soft as I thought it would. We just moved from Houston to Oklahoma, so there's another video that I did yesterday that I posted today, or that I'm posting today along with this one, and you can see it, I'm just like, itching my face because it's so dry here and so I really needed something that was going to hydrate my skin and unfortunately boots didn't do anything for me and it was pretty pricey considering I think I got it for like 10 or 11 dollars um I don't know it just wasn't worth it to me so I'm not going to be repurchasing I just got these I have told you about Carol's daughter Shea Souffles before the one that I reviewed before this one though was the goddess flower and I'm not a fan of that scent at all. Um, I gave the goddess flower stuff away before we moved. I just didn't, it was too, it was too much. It was really too much and it was powdery and strong and I just didn't, it just didn't, I didn't like it. Um, this however is my almond cookie. This is my go-to everyday kind of it smells so good. It smells like almonds. It smells like warm almonds and yeah, I mean, it really does smell like a cookie. Yeah, the almond cookie is really my go-to everyday moisturizer. Um, I have the perfume, too, and it smells really good. It smells just as good as as the lotion the, and the, the Shea Souffle. Yeah. Um, the other one I got, which I am super excited about, is a new, um, a new fragrance called Coconut. And now, I, I think... I think that she may have had this at some other time, this fragrance at some other time, but it's brand new to me. I had never heard of it before, and I'm so excited. I was so excited that she was doing a coconut fragrance. I love coconut, but I have a hard time finding a, a, a true coconut fragranced, perfumed, whatever, um, product, because to me, all of them have like that artificial kind of, I don't know, it's just a fake coconut smell. It's like it's, it's processed, and it just doesn't smell like true coconut, like tropical coconut to me. Um, I'm picky, I don't know. So this stuff, when I got it, I was so excited because there's coconut water, water, um, yeah, water lily, and sheer amber. I don't smell the amber, which is kind of good. I guess that gives it the warmth, I don't know. But I don't smell it, which is kind of good because I'm not a big amber kind of person. But what I do smell in this is a very light scent of coconut water. It's very light, but it's there. But what I really smell is the water lily, and that's the consistency of it. It's pretty thick. It's just like the... It, it moisturizes just as well, too, as the uh, almond cookie. To me, the goddess flower didn't do as well. But this one, is it, it's just as thick and creamy as the almond cookie Chez Souffle. This stuff smells like paradise in a bottle. There's no powderiness to it, which I have found that um, many of the other Carol's Daughter products ooh, have. It's an absolutely delicious scent. I am so excited that I have that. Um, and it's really working well on my hands and my body after I shower. Last thing I'm going to talk about is a shea butter. It's 50% shea butter. Um, and it's got coconut milk in it as well. To me, the co it doesn't smell as well. It doesn't smell as good as the coconut from um, Carol's Daughter. But this stuff is 
magical. It is so thick. Like, it's, it, it's like a hard butter. It really is like a hard butter. Um, I've had this for over a year, you guys, and it goes such a long way. I use it specifically really on my, like my heels and my feet after I shower. I put this on and then I'll put like socks on to make sure that, um, that they're, you know, that the, the moisture is really soaked in. I love this stuff. I use it on my husband's hands too. It's not very, it's not very strong. It's light. So it, I mean, my husband doesn't mind it. I got this, and by the way, I got this off of, it's called Perlier. It's from Perlier. I don't think I said that. Um, which is an Italian beauty line. And I, I know you can get it on hsn.com. Um, yes, I know that makes me a dork because they have good deals on lots of good stuff. Like Carol's Daughter, by the way. They also sell Carol's Daughter on HSN for good prices. Um, anyway, hsn.com. And they have lots of pearly stuff. But this is really the one that I'm going to stick with. It, um, it's so thick. Here, I mean, I'll just take out like... Like, it's, it's just, it's that thick. Like, seriously. It's like hard butter. And, I mean, you can like pull it apart. <laughs> um, but I love this stuff so much. It works fantastically. And, um, actually, my son got a, see, it's, it, it warms up in your hand. I know it's like really kind of thick at first, but whenever you rub it together in your hand, then it, it warms up and it spreads on really smoothly. Um, my son got a really big dry patch, like a year, like right after I bought this stuff. And we took him to the doctor and she gave us medicine for it and it was not clearing it up. And it kept getting like worse and worse and he was itching and um, we thought maybe he was allergic to something. We were trying everything and nothing was working and I, I don't know, I thought, well, it couldn't hurt, you know, it's a dry patch, I guess I could just put some of this on it. And within like two or three days, um, it was gone. It was, um, and it hasn't come back since. I can see this working on like eczema and like seriously dry, cracked skin. So I was very impressed with the fact that it cleared up um, the little dry patch. And uh, I kept using it and have seen great results from it. And I definitely plan on repurchasing it. Repurchasing it. So Perlier, P-E-R-L-I-E-R, -E uh, at hsn.com. It was 29 29 I think. Yeah, $29. And then both of the Carol's Daughter products um, I got on special from carolsdaughter.com. Just real quick, if you get the membership from them, like sometimes they have, I got it for like $10. It's usually $25 I got it on a special day. If you buy the membership, then you get 10% on every item for a whole year. I highly recommend doing this if you're as hooked on Carol's Daughter as I am. Um, because I got these for a crazy good price, and they're the big, big bot. They're like the yeah, they're the eight ounce, um, the eight ounce bottles. So I am, I'm just super excited that I got to show you guys my favorite um, moisturizers. And if you guys have any favorites, let me know because I'm a product junkie, so I love trying new things. So let me know what you all think and any of y'all's favorites, and I will see you guys real soon.